Right now on the Great Lakes, something's missing, ice. This year could see the lowest average ice cover on the lakes in about 50 years. See those purple squiggles? Those are the percentages of Great Lakes ice cover over the past 50 years. The red line's the average. And down at the bottom, in black, you can see this year's ice cover. Very low. Ten years ago, the Great Lakes looked like this. Now, you can barely see any ice. These are massive water systems, and they don't freeze overnight. They need a long period of below average temperatures, and we just did not see that this winter. Scientists point to a combination of climate change, El Nino, and natural variability. Low ice levels could erode the shores and hurt fish reproduction, according to scientists. Plus, less ice can make it more dangerous to be out on the frozen lakes. This winter, the Coast Guard rescuing several people from a sheet of floating ice in Lake Erie, an issue that becomes more likely when there's less ice cover. And as the world warms up, we could have a lot more winters like this one. Jesse Kirsch, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.